Bootcamp, JavaScript algos and data structures. We are in the ES6 course doing challenge 22 of 29, and we're going to reuse code by using the import statement. Okay, so in the last challenge, we just exported some code. So now we're going to import those same functions, it looks like, uh, using the import statement. So that's what these two last lessons have been about, import, export. Um, import allows us to choose which parts of a file to load rather than the entire file itself, right? So we can modularize certain files and only export what we want and then import that only where we need it essentially. So um, here import will find the add function in math functions.js and import just that function for us to use and ignore the rest because we're literally saying import just the add function from math dot functions or math underscore functions.js. Okay, so the dot slash, so this syntax, this dot slash, tells the import to look for mathfunctions.js uh, in the same folder. So this is a, I'm glad that they touched on this because this is something that in the last lesson I was wondering if they would. Um, this syntax, this dot slash syntax, is the current folder that you're in. So in VS Code, if the mathfunctions.js file is in this same file that I have open, I can just say dot slash mathfunctions.js. But if it's in a different file or in a different folder in the same folder, I have to give it the file path. So the main thing to understand here is that this is the file path for the current folder. And then this part is the actual file name. So you have to give it the relative path to the file if it's not in the same folder, essentially. Um, I can't really show you that here, but in VS Code, right, if you have a project with multiple folders, you have to give it the relative path, not always dot slash. It's only dot slash if it's in the same folder that you're importing from. Okay, so I hope that made sense. Uh, so we're going to import multiple, well, on this here in this example, just like we exported, uh, we can import multiple at the same time by just putting them in this little objects, you know, curly brace syntax. I think of this, like I said, the last in the last lesson, uh, when we export them in this syntax, it's kind of like we're packaging them up in an object and sending them off. And now when we're importing them now, we're kind of destructuring them out of the object. So that's how I think of it there. So I hope that helped. Uh, now all we have to do is do this for the these functions, which we just exported in the last example. So this exact syntax, but it's going to be coming from string underscore functions dot js, and it's going to be in the same directory as the current file. So once again, you can see they're trying to convey the fact that when it's in the same exact folder, you can use the dot slash syntax and then the file name. But when it's in a different folder, you have to account for that here because this is a file path. Okay, so we're going to just change above this line of code and we're just going to do the same thing but import the functions we exported in the last lesson, our uppercase string and lowercase string function. So in this syntax, import object curly braces because we're going to destructure those functions out of it from parentheses or uh, quotes and then again it's they said here it's uh, in the same directory as this current file so we can assume it's in the same directory dot slash string underscore functions dot js is what they said the file is called and then our function names are uppercase string and lowercase string so let's just take these and destructure uppercase string out of that file and same thing with the lowercase string function and now if we run the test that should work and this will work the same exact way in VS Code if you're working with actual .js files, right? As long as you export the function like we did in the last lesson, you can import it this exact same way from that file you exported it from. So very easy, very modular. And once again, the whole point of this is so we don't have to make individual files for each function and just import that whole file. We can import specific functions out of specific files we have more control essentially is the key here. So I hope that helped guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. See you guys in the next lesson.